Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see the performance thing. So, how we can check the performance for a website? We'll try to see. So, here I'm having a simple HTML. So, in this one, we are having a simple CSS file. So, which I have written some basic CSS. I don't want to show these all the CSS which I have written it. And here I am having some home about us, these all things, and I am having one image which takes the image and also last we are having a script file so this is the simple thing and now let's try to open this one in our live server i am trying to open this one in our live server what i will try to do is so let me open this one in the yeah okay it's okay where everyone so now i want to check the performance for this website so for this application now here we are having a simple h1 tag and we are having some links and one large image we are having Let's try to see the inspect element. So here, if you try to see, you will be able to see a performance tag. Here, you will be able to see a performance tab here. So this is a performance tab. So when I click on this performance, so here you'll be able to see these all the things. Now, when I click on this reload button, so we need to click on the reload by load by start profiling. Let's click on the start profiling. If I click, so it will try to take some time. So let it take some time. So it will try to have all the profile and all those things. So what is the thing, how much time it is taking and everything. Yeah. So here we are able to see some so much of details. So for example, if I close it and I will try to open it in the incognito window so that we can able to see. So the extensions and all those things will not come. So most probably when I am, when I try to see the performance and all those things, I will try to see in incognito window only so that the external JavaScript files and extensions, these all the things will not be loaded in this one. Okay, fine. So now we are able to see some de details, right? So this is these are all the details we are able to see. So now what I want to explain you here is, so at the top one, so you'll be able to see the humps. We are able to see some yellow humps and all those things, right? So the top one which you are able to see, this is called this is an overview tab, okay? And the and the bottom one we are able to see is a screens screenshots. So the screenshots. And these are all the main main means nothing but the main thread. So how the JavaScript and all those things are executing and the network means what are the resources it is trying to fetch it and all those things. Now here the one thing what you need to understand it here is in the overview tab, the blue color bar, which you are able to see the blue color bar. So here we are able to see the blue color bar, bar right? So this is called as an DOM content loaded. Here you'll be able to see the blue color bar. If you want to select it, we can select it like this. And here you'll be able to see the here the first one you'll be able to see so somewhere you'll be having around uh, uh, here if I try to move it so I need to let's try to take it up to here I'm taking it up to here yeah let's try to move it so here I am I'll be moving it yeah here this is the blue bar so here you'll be able to see this one right so this is the thing so now if you try to see here the blue bar so this is called as an dom content loaded here you will be able to see dom content loaded so we are able, we are now i have told you right the first thing what it will try to do so it will try to make a request when the request is made it will try to parse it will immediately try to parse the html when the dom com completely it is loaded so then the dom content loaded event will fire then afterwards this one if you are able to see this is a layout event uh, on load event sorry so this one is an window dot on load event and he will be having here some other uh, things something like uh, here you'll be able to see mm, so this one so this is called as an first content paint so here you'll be able to see the first content paint so this much time it is taking to do the first content paint <clears throat> the thing what we need to do is in this one so if i try to refresh this page and if i remove it let's try to do it again profiling thing mm. Trying to do the profiling thing again. Let's go the performance. And here I will try to do this one. So this is a simple HTML thing. No, I don't want to go deeper. So let's try to see the again the performance. So now here we are able to see it, right? So here this is the DOM content loaded, the blue color, and here it is the red is the onload event. So this one <clears throat> you need to maintain as left it should be. So as left at as as much left at it, it should be, it should be like that. So now we let's try to see the here one first thing is a network tab. So network tag if you try to see here. So these are all the if you try to see. 
so these are all the network resources so it is trying to fetch for the network resources so if you try to see here so this is the bubbling.html file so it is trying to make the bubbling.html file and here it is downloading and immediately it is trying to do the lighthouse so it is trying to call the image lighthouse and here you'll be able to see the style.css file so it is trying to make a request for the style.css file and here it is trying to download the style.css file and somewhere you'll be able to see the app.js file okay so when this app.js file is completely done then hopefully dom content loaded will fire somewhere so here only it will fire somewhere yeah, i'm not able to see it yeah somewhere here only it needs to fire i do i am we are unable to see where it is something around here we are able to see it, right so something yeah here dom content loaded is there here see when this app.js file is loaded completely then dom content loaded will be fine and here afterwards after dom content after fetching of the image and all those things so on load event so when the everything html images and all those things is fetched then this on load event will fire most probably dom content load and the uh, and the on load are one and the same only so if you try to see dom content load is firing at 170 milliseconds and this one is firing at 270 or something like milliseconds so that so much difference is not there so fine so fine now we are able to see so we are able to see these all the things so this is the network tab if i close this network tab and here you'll be able to see the main tab okay so now if you try to see here so first one is the task is it is trying to get the resource okay when this it is trying to get the resource the parsing html if you try to see here the parsing html has been started so after parsing of the html the layout the, it is trying to define the layout and then afterwards it is trying to paint it okay so this is the painted and here event load so here event load has been fired on load event and remaining all it's going on so like this it will be able to see and here parsing html is one of the things so it's a render blocking thing and also the layout design and also the painting these are the things we cannot do anything so here if you try to see here here is the script execution so here if you try to see here this is the evaluation script and all the things this is the script execution if you try to click here you'll be able to see what is the script it is trying to fire and here you'll be able to see parsing the style sheet so here it is trying to parsing the style sheet and here if you are trying to see here if you try to see compilation of code so like this recalculating the style layout design and all those things you'll be having so if you try to see here event load fire is going on so like this you'll be having so this is all what you can be able to see so these are the things <clears throat> okay and now what are the thing another thing i want to explain you is so now we are able to see this main also right and these are remaining frames and all the things are different so these all things are different so we can see and here you'll be able to see the screenshot also so here if you try to see the first content paint has been occurred here the first content paint so here the first content paint has been occurred so here the dom has been loaded but we are not able to see the output the first content paint here this is the F fc with the first content paint it has occurred here and if you try to see here up to here so it is going on showing the data so like this you'll be able to see it. so this is how the performance tab we will be checking in the next video you'll see about this bottom up call tree event log what are these all the things also you'll try to see it so this is the main tag okay so this is how you'll be having and if you want to check all those things you'll be able to check these all the things so this is the bubbling.html and here this is going on the detector.js and here you'll be able to see the app.js so this is our uh, app.js which we have written the code okay so this is our function call and all those things you'll be having so i will try to show you these all the details we'll see it in the next video so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you